Today we're gonna try the HQ Maestro 3. Uh, I have a little bit of experience with this kite and from what I remember this kite fly like a total beep, 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 beep. I mean I really don't like this kite and I will show you why. Let's see, let's see. Go kiting. Ah, okay, it's stable. The wind is weak. Okay, right now I'm trying just the very basic, very basic fly. Also, I'm not sure if the lines are equal or length. So, we will see later. Let's check for oversteer. Yeah, it has some oversteer. Do it again. Well, when the wind is very low, the kite has some oversteer. Anyway, let's do some stalls. Okay, not bad. Right now the cut has a lot of tail weight, three pieces of tail weight. Okay, lazy Susan, multi lazy. Oh fuck so. With a little bit of drift. So you need to do very precise movement, short input with uh, measured slack and immediately pressure against the sail. It's key factor here to tension immediately after the rotation to tension the lines. Okay, enough. Let's do some jack of sledder. Okay. Nice. Uh, they need some attention. I mean, if you're not very precise in the movement, you can lose control. But yeah, in general, not bad. Good first impression. Good machine. Try this machine, but probably not. Ooh, hoo, 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 test machine. <laughs> yeah, that's possible, but not very easy. That's all for now. This was my first impression. Ah, it's, it was. Uh, how to say it? It wasn't that bad after all. Okay, okay, enough. See you later. Bye. Take a look at the tail weights. <laughs> That's why the kite is drifting. <laughs>